How's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video. So today I want to show you where I find my drawing references. So many of you have asked me if I use any references at all for my drawings and the answer is yes. So for about 90% of all of my drawings, I have used references. Whenever I draw something from my imagination, it never looks as realistic or as close to reality as when I'm using reference. If you don't feel comfortable drawing from your imagination, then don't be afraid of using reference if you feel the need to. I definitely use reference a lot and I feel comfortable with it and I feel less comfortable when I'm drawing from imagination. So that being said, I want to show you the, the websites or the apps that I'm using to find references and kind of explain how I use them or how I look up references because it can definitely be a little bit frustrating finding the right image for your illustration. So the first website or app that I want to show you is Pinterest. So I'm pretty sure that most of you probably have heard about Pinterest before. It's a, it's a pretty big website. And basically you search up whatever you're interested in and then you kind of pin it to a board that you created beforehand. And so I have a bunch of different boards. For example, I have one for um, photos of people. Then I have one for fashion, cars. So whatever inspires me or whatever I'm interested in, I just created a board for it and I can save these images to it. So it's kind of like a huge or infinite pin board. So basically what I do when I go onto Pinterest is I click on the search field up here and then I just type whatever I'm looking for. So for example, I can type portrait in here. So let's just type portrait and see what we'll end up with. Oops. Okay, so if I type portrait, it's searching for a bunch of images and then it's showing me these images that are related to, to whatever I've searched for. And here we can already see like a bunch of like awesome images and we can just pick from them. And if we're interested in any pictures that are shown here, we can just kind of click on here and then hit save and you choose your folder and you save it to the corresponding board that you want to save it to. So this is a really efficient and quick and easy way to, to find lots of different references. Um, to me, it's still a little bit frustrating looking for references because I'm always looking for a certain pose or a unique person, a unique look. So it always takes me about 20 minutes to find the right reference, no matter which site I'm using. But this is definitely the website that I'm using the most when I'm looking for references. The other website that I'm using is We Heart It. So I don't know if you guys know about We Heart It. It's basically similar to or very similar to to Pinterest, but it's a little bit different. I, I think the audience, the people who are using the site are interested in other things. Um, it's more girly, I have to say, but the concept is the same as on Pinterest. It's just that the images that are being uploaded there are a little bit different. So if I click on home and I go down, I see a bunch of different pins and these are images of or pins by people that I'm following already. So I can just go down and see if somebody has uploaded something interesting. And the same principle applies here. If, if I see something that I like, I just save it to my own folder or I give it a like and I move on. And so for example, I like this image, I give it a like and it's being saved to my likes. And later on, I can easily find it in one of my folders. And so this is again, very cool to, to use. It's very similar to Pinterest. And so I kind of switch it up between the two whenever I feel like I don't find the right image on Pinterest. I just go to We Heart It and I give it a chance and see if there's something that I find more interesting. Okay, so next up on my list is Instagram. I, I can't complete this list without Instagram. So Instagram is definitely a place where I look for references, but you have to be smart about it. So here, because you're not actually looking at folders or boards, you have to look up people or you have to find people that are likely to have lots of images that you are going to be interested in. So what I like to do is I like to look for modeling agencies or makeup artists because they tend to upload lots of images of interesting people. I like to look up these people or agencies because it makes it very easy for me to find interesting images. So what I do is, for example, um, you gotta know the names of modeling agencies, but I kind of know them because I was interested in photography. So I'm just gonna look up a few of them and see um, what kind of images they, they uploaded in the past. So um, I just looked up Elite New York City. You can see that they have 522 pictures uploaded and these are like professional photos and you can just go through the list and see if you find something that is interesting to you. 
if you're um, open to get surprised for something that is unique, then definitely look on Instagram because Instagram makes it very hard to find something that is like very specific. If you need like a girl in a beanie hat or something, then it's kind of hard to find that. But if you're open to, to anything, then definitely use Instagram for that. A cool part about all of these sites is that they have apps for your phone. So what I like to do, because I find it a little bit tedious to, to look up for references on my computer, especially when I'm using Instagram. So what I do is I just go on my phone because to me, it, it just seems much more efficient and easier to, to do this on my phone. So I just open up the same profile or account on my phone and I just double tap to like and later on when I'm ready to draw I just look up the likes that I saved and kind of open it up on my computer because that's just way faster for me than, than doing it on the computer directly just because I think Instagram is made for, for mobile phones and it's a little bit difficult to use on a computer. So that's kind of the workflow that I like to use. So as I said on Instagram, if you're looking for images, you need to look up people that are likely to share lots of cool or unique images. So one method is to look up modeling agencies. Another method is to look up makeup artists. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type MUA for makeup artists. And here's like, again, like a limitless list of, of different photos that are related to makeup. Another cool way to, to search for this is to look for makeup um, MUA artist Instagram on Google and then there's like a bunch of lists of 22 best makeup artists on Instagram blah 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 so for example we got um, this person right here and she's a makeup artist so we just go down here list and she has like cool images I like this one for example and I just give it a like and um, this is how I do it basically I just I, I try to think as a regular Instagram user. I don't go in there with an artist's mind because artists, they tend to use, uh, they tend to use like search phrases such as drawing reference or art portrait or whatever. And it doesn't work that way. You need to use these websites as a standard or a normal user and use the same words as they would use. So a normal user would look up something like makeup or beauty or pretty face, whatever. I don't know, like something like that. And you need to be smart about it and kind of change your mindset when you're looking for images on these sites. And so the last website that I'm using for references or to find references is Google Images. Google Images is this huge library. It's basically the internet in itself. And to me, it became harder and harder to find what I'm actually looking for but it's still one of the best sources for anything. So whatever it is that you're looking for, um, you probably already know about Google. I mean, like, how can you not? But definitely use Google for, for your references. And here again, you have to be smart about it, but you can kind of go in there with a more open mind and search for anything. So just be creative with the words that you're choosing for your search. To me, it's always super difficult to find exactly that image that I want. So it takes me forever to find good reference, but these are the sites that I use the most whenever I'm starting a new illustration. My number one pick is definitely Pinterest just because it's kind of more organized and I feel like it's more selected by younger people or a younger audience and that makes it a little bit more fresher, a little bit more hip. If you have any other suggestions, if you use something else, then please let me know in the comments. I would love to know because I'm always looking for websites or interesting places to find references from. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And as always guys, I love you with all my fart and soul.